What is going on, gents? It's RPM here. The modern woman has made it crystal clear that they are not interested in the vast majority of men today. However, there is a silver lining. Men now have more options available to them. Pay for play, passports, monk mode, and of course, the synthetic companion. With so many brands out there, such as WM, JY, SE, and for gamers, game lady, you can find or build the perfect companion and continue to watch modern women experience this. <laughs> the wall is undefeated. When you're ready, search the doll form to get started. RPM, I am out. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, I watched a China Observer video over the weekend, and the topic had me rolling. A new humanoid robot has been unveiled in China, and the first group of women to lose their mind were the leftover women. <laughs> Boy, were they losing it. They were literally saying, oh my God, if these men are able to obtain these robots, they won't want us. What are we supposed to do? Well, I would say to that is you leftover women, you had every opportunity while you were young to find and catch that good stable man. You did, but no, Western feminism infected you. So what did you decide to do? You followed the Western feminist script to your demise. Yeah, yeah, Chinese men are saying, nope, we're done. The simp economy in China is all but dead. So yes, now men are going to have another option. Now, let me go ahead and get into the article that was published on the 13th of November. X-Ping unveils humanoid robot named Iron and then proves it is not human. Oh, what they did, in my humble opinion, was absolutely brilliant marketing, and I'm going to get into it later. But before I go further with this article, let me go ahead and drop something that I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, excuse me, flew under the radar for a long time. Now, this is a poll that was done back in May. A shocking portion of Gen Z say they could form a quote unquote deep emotional bond with an AI generated partner and would even consider marrying one a new study found. Yeah. Oh yeah. 83% of the young people born between 1997 and 2012 said they could develop a meaningful connection with a chatbot, while 80% said they would even consider marrying one if it was legal. According to a poll of the most digitally native AIDS group, set, spike, serve, check, and check mate. This right here, is definitely one of the ultimate long lasting results of feminism. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I'm going to go deeper into this in another video. However, let's go ahead and get back to the main topic, which is a new synthetic companion, which I haven't done a synthetic companion video for a while. So I'm going to mix some synthetic companion images in with the AI images. Two for one deal, gentlemen. Two for one. And it's 2025 Tech Day. Xping unveiled its next generation humanoid robot, aptly named Iron. The debut instantly captured global attention, not only for its strikingly lifelike design and movements, but also for the curiosity it sparked. Was there really a person inside the suit? The reveal felt more like a performance than a product launch. Iron strode onto the stage with poise and balance, its movements so natural that onlookers suspected a human actor was playing a role. Online viewers were quick to express their disbelief, calling it, quote unquote, the most human-like gate they've ever seen. Even on Chinese social media, Reactions ranged from fascination to confusion as users commented that the robot looked quote unquote, too real to be a machine. To clear the air, Xping CEO, He Xiaoping released a behind the scenes video on Douyin showing the robot's internal design and the evidence that iron is indeed a machine. Standing next to it, he pointed out that the faint hum of fans and cooling systems was a giveaway. Xiaoping also highlighted the finer details that dispel any doubt. The robot's hands, for instance, are smaller than a person's. The quote unquote ears visible on both sides of the head are actually microphones designed to capture environmental sound. And in a dramatic demonstration, he had a technician unzip a section of the robot's back, revealing a fully mechanical inner structure. No human hiding inside. Beneath its smooth exterior, iron is a feat of biomechanical engineering. It features a spine modeled after human anatomy and synthetic muscles that allow it to move with fluid precision. Its skin is fully customizable, enabling designers to adjust the robot's physique to different proportions for user cases. Iron offers an impressive 82 degrees of freedom throughout its body a level of articulation that allows subtle human-like gestures. Each hand alone has 22 degrees of freedom, powered by some of the smallest harmonic joints currently used in the industry. Xping has equipped iron with solid state batteries, a first in the humanoid robotics, providing higher energy density, greater safety, and a lighter build than traditional lithium ion systems. Iron will be displayed in practical services roles such as reception, assistance, shopping support, and patrol duties. But Xping stresses that making robots more human-like isn't just about aesthetics. It's about compatibility. Most environments such as homes, offices, and factories are designed around human form and behavior. The closer a robot comes to moving and responding like a person, the more naturally it can integrate into those spaces. Well, well, well. <laughs> Once again, ladies, the future is now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The leftover women in, J I was about to say Japan, but China, 
They are shaking in their boots. They know it. The game is over. It is. And believe you me, it is only going to be a matter of time. This is progressing way faster than I thought it would. You never know. We might actually get fully autonomous droids, you know, in the next, I will say, 30 to 50 years. It could happen. It really could. But yeah, the fact that the Chinese women are sounding the alarm, yeah, too little, too damn late. Especially now with more and more men saying, yeah, you know what? The AI option, yeah, it is a better option. Look at what I have to choose from in regards to flesh bags, to meat bags. I have way too many problems that I have to try to overcome just to try to get with a substandard woman. Yeah, yeah, it is absolutely insane. But if you notice, every video, or should I say every movie that has been done about synthetics has always been a worst case scenario situation. Oh my God, the AI is gonna take over. Oh my God, the AI woman has slept with my husband. Blah, 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 blah. You see, ladies, you had one job. If you would have done your job, this option wouldn't be available. Most men would not even think about this option. They wouldn't. But guess what, ladies? Ultimately, feminism freed men from you and enslaved you at the same time. Talk about the ultimate irony. It truly is. Now you've got women all over social media talking about, oh, I want to be a wife. I, I want to be a, in a relationship so bad. I'm tired of being lonely. <laughs> Hell, I watched a video from the Crimson Cure that had me dying. And the title was, Why Hyenas Can't Be Saved. Even she has noticed women talking about, oh, I need to go look for a man now. And of course, she's talking about black women. And she's like, nope, nope, nope. You wanted this, you got it. But she told him, the bone yard is falling piece by piece. Guess what? A true lioness has a lion that is willing to tell her, hey, stay in the cave. I'm going to go out and gather the resources. But no, these hyenas, oh, no, 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 no. I can do it all by myself. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay, ladies, you got it. Winter is definitely here for a lot of women. And yeah, more and more women are about to feel good old Jack Frost's touch. Now, there's another article that's being put out talking about, oh my God, by 2030, more than 40 or 50 percent of women are going to be single by choice. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No, it's not by choice. See, once again, this is another attempt to try to make women feel better about the fact that men are leaving them behind. That's all it is. Another coping article. But yeah, yeah. Most men have said, nope. Especially most Gen Z men. You still got boomers out here trying to push marriage. Why? Gen Z has seen the absolute collapse of marriage. They've seen the collapse of the economy. They're like, you know what? Fuck it. Let it burn. Let it collapse. Gen Z simply does not care. And that's why they are the most technically sound generation who are saying, yes, I don't mind having an AI partner. 
because when I look at what I have to choose for my generation, nah, that's done. That's a wrap. They are cooked. But yeah, yeah. To all my other fellow synthetic companion, you know, owners, here we go yet again. Once again, the technology is progressing a lot faster. Hell, even the synthetic companions that are on the market right now are becoming way more advanced. They got cooling systems. They've got auto blow functions. They've got breathing functions. They've got heating functions. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you think about, you know, if you're curious about a synthetic companion, hey, do your research. Do your research. There are way more out there on the market. And I've always said this. A synthetic companion is limited only by two things. Your budget and your imagination. Now, one thing I have to say for all of those, well, if it's not cooking and cleaning, then I don't want it. Shut the fuck up. All right, seriously, shut the fuck up. If you're a grown ass man, you can't cook and clean for yourself, then yeah, you know what? You're you're a special kind of stupid. The 1950s model woman is not coming back. Now, can it be programmed? Yeah, but we're not at that stage yet. So until we get to that stage, yeah, I kind of leave that shit out. But ultimately, yeah. Women, you have priced yourself out of the relationship, commitment, and marriage markets. You all had time when you were young to find that good, stable man, but you chose not to. That was your choice. But see, now, later on, here are the consequences, as the women in China are definitely living through those consequences. Hell, hell as the overwhelming majority of women who are not married are living through those consequences. But you know what? Ultimately, it is what it is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And to all you women out there who still think that you have a chance to find Mr. Impossible, yeah, you better understand this. And you better understand this crystally damn clear. All the power you had when you were a young woman has officially gone out. The wall is undefeated. Feminism, which told you you could have it all and that men were going to continue to just fall at your feet due to our own personal lust. Yeah. That's gone out right along with it because more and more men day by day have overwritten their own biological urge. So yeah, we men have discovered way more options that don't involve you, that actually bring us peace and quiet. So yeah, ladies, you had one job, you ultimately failed. So guess what? You're going to get left behind. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.